heard people saying that India is a young country with a median age of 28 years and compared to the world average of 30 years. The question is, how does this give the country's economy a distinctive edge? And more importantly, how can we ensure that this phenomena remains a blessing and does not turn into a curse? Hello and welcome to Ecoholics. Today we are going to talk about the concept demographic dividend. First of all, let us discuss the term. The word demographic refers to something that is related to the size and structure of the population. Plus, the word dividend refers to benefits or economies derived from the particular event or a phenomena. Taken together, demographic dividend means the economic benefits reaped by a society due to the transition in the size and structure of its population. More specifically, it is a phenomena that occurs for a country when the proportion of its working age population is higher than that of non-working age population. What it basically means is that the share of dependent population including children and old age people is at its lowest. India entered into its demographic dividend window in 2005 and is projected to remain there till the year 2055. India's demographic dividend will peak around the year 2041 when the share of working age population, that is the 20 years to 59 years of population, is expected to hit 59%. But does this mean that merely possessing demographic dividend guarantee economic success for a country? The answer is likely not. Remember, demographic dividend only shows a country's potential. Actual success depends on the policies that the government makes. For the demographic dividend to materialize, a country needs to do three things. Increasing savings and investment level, channelizing the investment into human capital, and ensuring flexibility in labor markets. This is how the chain of events work. Increasing savings and investment in an economy leads to creation of the new and expansion of the existing production capacity. This creates demand for labor. Investing more on human capital, that is health, education, skill development of people is essential to make the labor qualified enough to work efficiently. And lastly, Flexible labor markets ensure that right jobs are created for the right people at the right time. On the flip side, a higher working age population in the absence of meaningful employment can become a huge burden for the country. It could result in higher incidences of crime, social unrest. It is for this reason that the government is particularly focusing on creating preferable economic conditions that will help the country to achieve the demographic dividend. What more do you think should the government do to reap the full potential benefits of the demographic dividend? Well, let us know in the comment section below.